Okay, hello, welcome to Metal Gear Solid 2, Sons of Liberty. Uh, we'll see if it runs immediately in the right frame rates, or if I need to do things, because... <laughs> you know, the emulator doesn't run till after you're in the game, and then it does weird things like this. <laughs> but we know maybe how to fix it from the other game now, perhaps, if it is the same issues. Because they don't let you do any of those settings from inside the settings menu before the game loads in, with it being the definitive edition of, you know. Boom, 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 boom. We are on the Master Collection Volume 1. Should maybe temporarily have that as my Twitch game. HD collection, yes. That's uh, gonna leave it in the Metal Gear Solid 2 category because there's more followers for that. <laughs> the Metal Gear Solid HD collection, it is loading. And here we go. <laughs> Into the game, right. Okay, I may need to do other settings. Kojima Productions! Ironically, the two top buttons don't necessarily work at this point. Blue point game. But they had some extra help at this point. Not just Konami. Or they changed from Konami to blue points. Oh, it's immediately running fine. <laughs> That's good. Promising. Okay, I'm drowned in the water. This is all catching up on what happens, right? <laughs> Lots of clones of the same guy that isn't Snake, but apparently were like his brother clones, right? <laughs> Some guy under the water. Cutting through the fence. Making his way inside. 450. How did he get his hand back? <laughs> and not Metal Gear Rex. A snake makes his way out of the water. With somebody new, who I'm sure will be introduced to. <laughs> Back to back, Metal Gear Solid 2 Sons of Liberty. That's Gillespie action again. I'm sure <laughs> I'm not going to spoil anything. HD edition, okay, good. That means it runs on modern PCs. <laughs> um, options within options. Uh, radar and Sons of Liberty will not appear at all, even during intrusion view does not appear during intrusion view. I mean, it was naturally on type 2. I'm going to leave it on that. Let's not cheat. Full screen. Yeah. Captions on. Brightness. I'm sure it's fine. Uh, select first person view control type. I'm sure normal will be fine. Uh, item display type grouped seems good. Equip or unequip. So that's uh, quick changes on equip weapon. I guess we'll want that. Special. Basic actions. Previous story. The backstory. Dog tag viewer. Let's uh, leave that for now. And there's some secret missions. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it to actually load. It's VR missions. Right. I don't want to do VR. Okay. <laughs> this is for cheats, right? But we're not gonna cheat. And the Lazio. Birthday. Nationality. <laughs> I'll just leave it on UK. Birthday mystery. <laughs> the first of the first of a mystery year, sure. Raiden Snake. This is probably spoilers, isn't it? 
This is probably spoilers. Snake Tales. Let's leave all of that for after we beat the game. Tanker plant, tanker plant. <laughs> tanker plant, tanker or plants. Tanker and plants. I think. <laughs> Uh, for confident players, I mean, we get to keep our radar this time on hard mode, so let's go on. <laughs> the game wasn't at all challenging at all, was it? The first one. <laughs> let's go on hard. Uh, leave a radar. Yep, yeah, we want a radar. Um, wow, that seems ridiculously cheap. The game will end if you're even seen. <laughs> Yeah, let's not. Let's have it the fun way where they can shoot at you and run around. The story is fictional, and any similarities to characters, groups, or other entities in real life are entirely coincidental. Entirely coincidental. Okay, so this should be the full story with Tanker and Plants. <laughs> not that there's reasons for it at all, for any reasons whatsoever. It's interesting that this one points out that it's a HD collection, the other one doesn't. Like, they didn't bother HD remastering that first game at all. <laughs> but at least the second one they have, and we don't have to have too much to fix it. It just worked. Which is good. Well, <laughs> I'm saying that, we haven't got into the game yet, but it seems so we far. We had classified <laughs> intelligence that a new type of metal gear was scheduled for transport. The whole thing stank, but our noses have been out in the cold too long. They didn't catch a cold. A bridge. George Washington Bridge. Cinematic view of a bridge. <laughs> and there's cars on the bridge. And who was that? Not snake, right? <laughs> okay, frame rate running nice and smooth. It's a stormy day. Rain is falling. Snake walking along the bridge and his poncho. Casually, it is. Tactical gear for no reason. <laughs> he has no other clothes. The weird pose to be pulling those snake. <laughs> Looks like he's ready for the quick draw. Just having a smoke. Thankfully, there's no oil spills or anything, otherwise he would have sacrificed the entire bridge. Doesn't seem happy about this. Decides to go for a run. Okay, is the bad ending the cannon ending then? Because he's got the cloak. And the cloak is only from the bad ending. And he also somehow has a bungee cord around him now, which he didn't have before. <laughs> but it didn't exactly bungee, it just sort of held him. <laughs> okay, there we go, bungeeing. Apparently the stealth camo doesn't like the bungee. To catch a boat. The barely clears under the bridge. <laughs> Almost knocks its radar off. And the stealth camo electrocutes and runs out. <laughs> Not remotely trying to copy a Terminator scene or anything. Oh, Toyota! Snake just taking his moment to enjoy the rain. <laughs> He'll know soon enough. 
That guy just watched him the entire time, despite him supposedly having been wearing camo. <laughs> Then again, I guess everyone could see him, regardless of it, because he was moving, and it was raining. It's hardly the stealthy when the rain's hitting an invisible thing and bouncing off it. <laughs> and in we go. <laughs> it doesn't touch his head, ear. Neck pain. <laughs> this is Snake. Do you read me, Otacon? Loud and clear, Snake. Kept you waiting, huh? I'm at the sneak point. Everything going okay? Plus, Otacon's alive, so I think the bad ending is the cannon one. Sorry, but you're gonna have to deal with it. You're not in the military anymore. Right. I didn't plan on relying on this gadget anyway. The private sector's not so bad, is it? Privacy guaranteed? I'm happy as long as no one gives me any more unwanted gifts. You mean that thing with Naomi? And I can't say I miss the chattering nanny. Mailing's not so bad. Unwanted gifts and the chatting nanny. What did he have a baby and he didn't want it? Burning toys from the SSCEN again. Give her a message from me. Someone will find out sooner or later. She's better off assuming it sooner and quit while she's safe. Too true. Okay, Snake. Let's get to work. You know how the technical specs of Metal Gear were sold on the black market after Shadow Moses? All Ocelot's doing. Exactly. And now every state, group, and dot-com has its own version of Metal Gear. Well, that sounds exactly bad. A classified weapon for today's nuclear and if weapons, everyone has one... This new one seems to have been designed <laughs> to wipe the floor with all the other models. The only consistent description is that it's an amphibious, anti-Metal Gear vehicle. That explains why this one is under Marine Corps jurisdiction. I mean, they're always going to make something to take down the existing current technology, aren't they? You know, the latest battle vehicle, and then we've designed something that can conveniently take it down. The mission objective is to make visual confirmation of the new metal gear being transported by that tanker and bring back photographic evidence. But I want you first to go up to the top level of the infrastructure, to the bridge. We need to find out where the of tanker the infrastructure, is. Of the infrastructure, you mean the boat? A little <laughs> There's too much we don't know about this new prototype. Capabilities, deployment method, we don't even know how close it is to completion. If we know where the testing arena is, I can start to draw some reasonable conclusions. All right, I'll head to the bridge ASAP. Try to avoid confrontations. Our goal is to collect evidence on Metal Gear development and expose it to the world. It would be best if you could get out of there without alerting anyone. Don't worry, I know the drill. We're not terrorists. So basically, <laughs> don't Maybe get noticed. Part of philanthropy now. Philanthropy. He's a philanthropist now. Officially recognized by the UN. An anti-metal gear organization. It's funny, because this weapon's also an anti-metal gear weapon. <laughs> We're an anti-metal gear organization looking for an anti-metal gear weapon to stop the anti-metal right, gear weapon. Your, gear. your weapon is a tranquilizer gun converted from a Beretta M92F. M9... It's a little hard to work with because you have to reload after each shot since the slide locks. Better than scavenging at the mission site. Good suppressor, too. The chemical stun will take effect in a few seconds and last for hours. You can take down an elephant with that thing. Check out I like that it's not letting me do the tutorial. <laughs> it's just showing me. Tens of seconds between hitting limbs, chest, or head. As for the equipment, hey, snake. Cigarettes? What's wrong with you? It's kind of a lucky charm. You haven't read the Surgeon General's warning, have you? They'll kill you! Here's the digital camera. Works almost the same way as your old one. We need to take photos. <laughs> they don't look This odd. is very high def. Hey, Earth to Snake. These are nice upstanding marines, not terrorists. Don't get caught, you're in stealth mode here. Sure, and if it comes to that, a little beauty sleep never hurt anyone. By the way, Otacon, are you sure of this intelligence? Absolutely. Hacked it out of the Pentagon's classified files myself. No traces? Oh, please, I'm too good for that. But this might be a trap. It's a trap! There's a price on our heads. You're just being paranoid. I hope so. Those men, you wouldn't think they were anything but civilians from here. With all the ships passing on the river and in the harbor, putting uniformed marines on the deck would be a bad idea. People can get a clear view of the water from Riverside, too. 
And it's a big old boat. The water line is too high. <laughs> According to the navigational plans, this ship should have discharged its cargo upriver. It's in there, no doubt about it. The military trains you to watch for threats from the stern on a boat. That's SOP for counter-terror ops, too. Security should be tighter. You worry too much. Where's the target? Satellite surveillance is a major international pastime these days. I'd say the cargo holds safely below the deck. This is a big the boat. To the holds? Looks like there are a few entryways into the crew quarters. The chopper. And he says, that wasn't us. <laughs> that guy's oblivious. We're gonna get frames. <laughs> We're not the only ones after Metal Gear tonight. Is that a chopper I just heard? Affirmative. Probably and into the sea. It's their game. Hijack? They're probably targeting the ship's controls. Otacon, how many men do you need to take over a tanker of this size? Three. <laughs> the ship is run by a computer, so I'd say about 18 people. Four, five, six. <laughs> There's probably going to be 18 of them then. Russians? You sure? No Marine Barber touched that head of hair. Does he say he's got a bad haircut? <laughs> oh, and the Russian hat. Yep. <laughs> I'm transmitting a photo. Let's get an ID on him ASAP. I'm on it. Right, so they're teaching us so that we have to take pictures of people for that reason. Looks like the tanker's theirs now. Meanwhile, the state just sits there and lets all this happen. Kasatka? Kasatka? Kamov Chopper, right? Killer Whale. We need to get a fix on who they are. Judging by their transport, aren't they some kind of military commandos? Not necessarily. It could be the KA-62, the civil model. Look, Snake, all we need is the photographic evidence of Metal Gear. As long as we have those, we can put it online and blow the whole thing wide open. So no pyrotechnics, okay? All right. I'll do my best. This isn't like Shadow Moses. Reach me if anything happens. The frequency's 141.12. How can I check in and save my progress? I'll do it. There's a frequency set aside for <laughs> one four zero. The same frequency for saving. Sorry, but no Mei Ling this time. But no Mei Ling. Call me on the code <laughs> when you want to save. Got it. I'll be waiting just past the Verrazano Bridge. You need to be off that ship by then. I'll be in touch. Have we got a time limit? An actual, actual time limit? Okay, so that's how we change things. There's a life form sensor. All of the vibrations will be off when this sensor is activated. You can... Fail utterly. Oh! <laughs> Comes and runs this entire way. Fail utterly at trying to peek. What what are you what are you doing, Snake? What are you what are you doing? There's definitely heartbeats occurring. You can't climb over that snake, that sucks. Okay. Just getting used to the controls. Oh, I see. There's a guy down there now. Or above us. Okay. Did this guy ever come? The one that was very... Eager. There's an item there. There's got to be a way of jumping over that, right?
gotta be. Otherwise, how do I get that? How do I get that item? <laughs> It just crawl around everything, Snake. Oh. I don't quite know how to get that. <laughs> okay, so aim. Then the heartbeat is me. Stop crawling. Crawling in my skin. There's a guy up there who's peeking over. He wants to see ya. He's gone. Get up, snake. There's somebody coming. Go upstairs. Doesn't go upstairs, huh? I don't know how to open doors, apparently. <laughs> I'm sure I don't need to know how to open that door. This seems fine. Pentazamin. Not diazepam. Wait. There's... <laughs> Something past that. Right, okay. Maybe I can't open the door because I don't have a button. That item! I want it, whatever it is. And I don't know how to get that. I, I can dive. But I don't think that necessarily helps us. What are you doing, Snake? <laughs> what are you doing, Snake? fly over the ship you know over there. over there I don't think he is over here <laughs> I didn't want to kill anyone <laughs> And there he is, immediately overboard. Increase security. There's an item down there. <laughs> I'm trying to do the non kin Why did the dart not knock him out? I suck. That one I at least missed. Unconscious. I'm not trying to kill them, I swear. <laughs> huh? 
What happens? Medicine. <laughs> I suck at this. <laughs> I suck at not killing them. Knocking them out. <laughs> this gun is not doing anything, is it? You killed your friends. This gun is not knocking them out. <laughs> Snake, respond. Snake, Snake. Uh, I can skip the cutscene at the start, right? <laughs> I'm just gonna restart that. Right, right, right. <laughs> I can definitely skip the cutscene. Right. Let's hope. Let's hope we can skip the cutscene. That was an embarrassing start. Also, like it wouldn't let me do the tutorial. It just did it for me. Which is a bit awkward. New game. Thank plants. <sighs> you know, we'll do it on normal. Because <laughs> it is a hard game. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's entirely fictional. Bom, 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 bom. Bom, bom, bom. Nods and River, two years ago. We had classified intelligence that a new type of metal gear was scheduled for transport. The whole thing stank, but our noses have been out in the cold too long. Right, yeah. That's just... <laughs> the mission... Mission objective two years right, ago. Let's look at your gear. Your weapon is a tranquil... Lots and lots of cutscenes. We need to get a fix on who they. Skip the whole lot. <laughs> okay. Sit down against the thing. Right, so I guess I can't sit against that particular piece of surface. Right, that. Sit there. Wasn't there a, like, corner peak it was showing me? Against it, snake. Right. Crouch. Peak. Right. That's peak. But that's not that great, is it? The angle there. Then we can first person that. Right, so that guy is not noticing. Okay, that time the dart worked properly. Can't hide the body. Why do I feel like there was an ability to drag the body and hide it? Russians! Let's go. Okay. I don't know what I'm missing with being able to go. You don't see that guy, huh? I don't know what I'm missing with controls. I mean, I think there's no one down here. <laughs> Right, let's go grab the pentazamin. Right. Mm. 
Good job, steak. <laughs> Totally nailed that shot. <laughs> it doesn't help that there's not a uh, thing, not a reticle. Got him. <laughs> Are you sleeping soundly and nicely? You got a call. Snake, go through that door into the ship's interior. Push the action button down in front of the door and wait until the door opens before letting go. Right. If you need to open the door faster, hit the action button repeatedly while you turn the handle. Make sure you keep doing it until the door is open. Got it. The whole damn Y to open doors. And it is many different types of loot. Lights. Guy coming. <laughs> okay, I will run away from because I want. Was no there loot here? Like, was no loot here just before? I guess I don't need it. <laughs> Maybe there's only a loop there if you start fighting people. Right, did throw anything back here. I think I've got everything now. Okay, now we go in the door. Snake, it looks like that door can't be opened from the deck. You can infiltrate the ship through other doors. <laughs> so the other door that I was on before. This one opens. <laughs> Decades crude quarters, right. It probably was the one at the other side that I wanted to go in, right? You hold down the button to get in and that door's locked. <laughs> Okay, we're in. Otacon save. Do you want to save, Snake? Yeah, bad ads. <laughs> I better had six minutes in. Snake, you of course know the saying, one for all, all for one. What is this all of a sudden? Oh, I figured you'd need a lot of motivation, so I came prepared. It's from the Three Musketeers, the book. Not As the a candy bar. bar? Anyway, it means that if you go up against everyone by yourself, they'll gang up on you too, I think. Since you're on your own on that ship, you need to take this to heart and avoid confrontations. How is that? Just like the old days, huh? Almost reminds me of Mei Ling. But you sure you got it right? Of course. And I'll teach you a lot more of these. You can count on it. Great. Got it. Okay, there's a... He's a lot more... <laughs> eager. That guy's gonna turn around. Door already open? Might as well go check it out. You can hide in the lockers in this one, right? Hmm? Must have been the winds. Hmm? There's somebody there. No. <laughs> Nobody here! Nobody just fired a dart at you and missed! Nobody. Well, I guess he was just very strong. <laughs> Finally took him out! 
<laughs> oh, somebody that? Yeah, that you got a dart in your ass. <laughs> okay, so I didn't miss. <laughs> he was just very resilient. Oh, who just pinched me on the ass? I did. <laughs> With the dart. <laughs> that was supposed to knock you out. Starboard. It was supposed to knock you out. <laughs> oh no, there's some people. They turned around. I'm gonna go down. Because that's where the metal gear is, right? Stun grenades. <laughs> it's a good job that all of these rooms just open for me and I don't need ID cards or anything. That's nice and convenient. <laughs> nice shadow work, but look at that guy on that chain gun up there. Not ominous at all. Hmm, Draven. <laughs> it's not Raven, but... What's that? <laughs> Just a light on a little model that looks like him. How do I zoom? There you go! <laughs> okay, that's interesting that it skips the first slot and over that one. That's fine. Um, take the camera off. One ration. Okay, give me my AP sensor. I'm sure there's no reason to be photographing everything. There's absolutely some control that I'm lacking. Isn't there? Right, why climbs up there? Get the USP first. Right. And there's hiding in the <laughs> equal opportunities lockers. Oh, you can. Knock on the lockers. <laughs>